Hello, I'm Tim Windsor from Blackberry Developer Relations. In this video, I want to do a quick introduction to using the Enyo framework with Blackberry 10. We'll start off showing how to get Enyo on your machine using the Enyo bootplate sample and how I modified that to add in some WebWorks extensions and uh, take advantage of some of the WebWorks native capabilities on Blackberry 10. So first off, to get Enyo, go to enyojs.com. That's the, the main site for the framework. And click on the Get Enyo button. So my approach was to use the uh, boot plate on GitHub. So the boot plate gives you a basic application to start from. And uh, basically, I just took that and followed these, these steps here and uh, then modified that. So you can get it from there, but also as a starting point, I have a sample up here on uh, our BlackBerry um, BB10 WebWorks Community Samples repository. If you go there, you'll see Enyo 2.0 BB10 WebWorks, and this is the sample here. So this is the boot plate sample, and uh, with some, there's a presentation in here and uh, a sample video of the of the actual application that it creates. And uh, there's the presentation will walk you through all the all the steps. We'll do that uh, in a very brief fashion in this video. Uh, so you can get the all the code here. And uh, let's just do a quick video to show you what, uh, what this application does. So this is the sample. And uh, it's a simple simple sample that uh, listens to the accelerometer the, through the uh, HTML5 device motion API and uses these uh, sliders to show that. We have a uh, file invocation, so it opens up a uh, music file and, and then plays it in an audio tag, and uh, also uh, battery uh, level support. So this, uh, this progress bar up here is actually listening to the current battery status and, and so on. And when you connect it, it charges like that. So that's the sample. And uh, let's actually look into the code now. So here's the code. This is the uh, debug.html file that is the, the, the sort of the debug or basic starting point for uh, for the Enyo bootplate sample. And uh, really, all we've done here is is added in our WebWorks uh, JavaScript file there, and uh, that's where all the the, the WebWorks uh, main APIs. Uh, are built in at that point. And uh, we, then we've added in our application code, uh, all the things that I mentioned, like the battery updates, uh, file picker, and so on. Key thing in, in here is down in this section, uh, adding uh, an event listener for the WebWorks Ready event. And at that point, we can start calling all of our BlackBerry APIs. So you'll see here that, uh, and in, in the code, that there's a separation between uh, the BlackBerry code and the, the Enyo code. So I don't make any of these uh, WebWorks function calls until uh, that WebWorks ready event has happened. And that's when the, that WebWorks.js file has been loaded. But at that point, then we can add event listeners for battery status and device motion. And uh, um, those, uh, those callbacks can, can happen then. Over here, in uh, app.js, this is the actual main application. So I took the uh, the basic app.js that came with the bootplate sample, and I modified it to put in all my my own tags here. So you see how this works. We've got uh, um, that progress bar for the battery level. It's a it's a kind of uh, Onyx progress bar, and uh, and then sliders for the accelerometer data. And, uh, and then just a simple button and audio tag for, uh, for the playback. Uh, and these are the, the methods in here that are getting called uh, externally and, uh, and that update the actual internal values and, and NEO settings, uh, such as you know, showing uh, stripes and animating them uh, when, when the battery is being charged. So that's, a, that's the simple overview of the actual app. 
And uh, another thing that has to be updated here is the config.xml. So this would not be provided by the NEO boot plate sample. This is something that is WebWorks specific. Uh, but you could use this this uh, sample as a starting point or, or uh, any of the, uh, of the other many samples that we have available. Um, and uh, you need to add in your, your author information, make sure that that matches your uh, debug token or assigning keys. And here we're, we're pointing uh, our starting point to debug.html and uh, setting a few other uh, features that we want to use, uh, such as invoke, invoke.card, so we can do the, the file picking and uh, for uh, we're also setting the uh, the orientation to portrait and that's basically just to uh, to make it not change orientation when we're moving it around to, to see that accelerometer in action. So that's the basic code. You can definitely get this as a starting point from the sample here. And uh, at that point, really all that's done is I'm going to zip it up. Uh, I would, of course, remove the, uh, the sample video and, and PDF here that you don't need to package up into your application. Uh, but I would zip that up and then package it with uh, BD, BBWP. And, uh, and then uh, launch and put on your device to try it out. Uh, it also works in Ripple, at least uh, part of it. Um, the uh, file indication is not uh, is not really there yet in Ripple, but you could definitely uh, try out the accelerometer and, and battery status. And uh, I would should mention that uh, this is just a brief overview. But if you're interested in much more uh, detail on on this whole sample, uh, we did a, a web uh, a webcast on this with uh, myself and uh, uh, Marcus Slitweiler from uh, HP Developer Relations. So you can see that, see that whole webcast here. And that goes into a great deal of depth on, on how all the APIs are working and what's possible with Enio and uh, some of the other possibilities with it. Uh, so I, I would definitely recommend that. And thanks very much. Uh, we found this useful.